Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado, taking you a live look outside in Lamar from our exclusive VR Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera. It's showing you we have a healthy mixture of blue skies, sunshine, and clouds. We'll stick with mostly sunny to partly sunny skies today. Wind speeds won't be as much of an issue today compared to where they were yesterday, at least for the lower elevations. Even still, they could be breezy. Right now, slightly blustery for Trinidad, La Junta, Burlington, as well as Springfield. We will continue to keep a close eye on it for you. The National Weather Service has issued a high wind warning for everyone. Highlighted in tan. This includes some of the mountains and foothill locations where some gusts late tonight through tomorrow morning could range up to 90 miles an hour. Yeah, wind will still be annoying today, although across southern Colorado it won't be uh, as strong as what we saw yesterday. Light VHG Doppler radar so far is showing dry conditions for Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Teller, and Fremont counties, but it's off to the northwest foothills where we have seen just a few snowflakes. Current temperatures stay in the 20s and the 30s. I would grab the jacket and the gloves as you step outside and make sure the little students have all of their layers as they wait for the bus this morning. Temperatures for Colorado Springs and Pueblo, right around 8, should stay in the low to upper 30s, with 31 for Woodland Park and 38 for Canyon City. High temperatures today are expected to reach some of the 60s. Keep in mind, we typically see the 40s. We are well above what we typically see for this time of year. Tomorrow, we also stay warm, dry, and breezy, even windier on, Wednesday, on Friday, rather, with a late cold front anticipated that will spark some snow on Saturday. A break Sunday with more snow in the forecast Monday and Tuesday. Similar story in Pueblo with warm temperatures today and tomorrow. Cooler over the weekend with those highs Saturday and Sunday only reaching the 30s and the 40s. You'll see that cooling trend as well in Canyon City with highs on Saturday only reaching 37. I don't expect that snow to really impact travelers. Uh, commuters rather on Friday as that snow will start after the evening commute but it will snarl traffic on Saturday and it is going to become difficult for traveling across the state with several inches of snow accumulation possible along and west the I-25 corridor 53 today in Teller County with more snow this weekend we will have another weather update for you in the next 10 minutes all right thanks Abby mm -hmm. all right time now 644 Donald Trump's words once again causing